And thank you for joining us here on PM Express. Well, in the next uh, few hours, uh, tomorrow morning, the government is going to be launching a major um, campaign. And a campaign is about a threat that the government has received. And it sounds from all indications that this is a very credible threat. This is a clear and present danger. The Ghana is now a target for terrorist activity. And it is almost very clear, we'll get into, the, into this when we have the conversation with our, with our guests, that it appears that a terrorist attack may be imminent uh, in Ghana. And we are currently getting a bit of uh, government word on the nature of this threat, but we want to understand it a bit more and get into, so government tomorrow will launch a campaign to say, citizens must get involved in averting this threat. So what can we really do? But let's get into breaking down what we know so far. And this is the context within which the government is, is going all out to, to, to alert us of an, of an imminent threat when it comes to terrorist attacks. We have 340 terrorist attacks as far as the first quarter of 2022 is concerned. So in the first four months of this, of this year, first quarter alone, we've had 340 terrorist attacks across the continent. That is very alarming and it's increasing. But what makes it even more troubling is that out of this number, 49% of that is in West Africa alone. 49% of that is in West Africa alone. So of all the 340, um, terrorist attacks in the first quarter of this year, 49% in West Africa. And majority of that neighboring countries, we have Togo, we have Burkina Faso, and we've seen that spread in a sub-region like fire. That is why we're getting the reports now from government, and they held a press conference yesterday. There's another one tomorrow, and there have been statements that have been issued, alerts issued already, warning us to be vigilant wherever you are because a terrorist can strike at any moment. It will take your vigilance to make that impossible. So that is the contest within which this is happening. And as I said, we have 10 soldiers killed during, during the attack. This is the recent attack in Togo. Uh, and so they're not only attacking, targeting civilians, they're attacking, they're targeting um, you know, our military and security forces as well, as we've seen uh, in Togo very recently. The picture, when it comes to the global map, is also very troubling. If you look at a pictorial view here, the, the, the very, very deep, uh, red is where it's very high risk. And Ghana appears to be in the medium to low risk region, right? But this was compiled, um, this is 2022, but this was compiled before this year, that last few weeks that we've seen the government intensifying this campaign. It suggests that we may be moving to the deep red here. And, and we will get a bit, a bit more clarity from our experts when we sit down and have a conversation what is informing this and where really are we? Because if you look at the global map, and another thing you need to pay attention to when it comes to this map is, majority of those deep colors are found in the sub region of West Africa when it comes to the African continent. And then that buttresses the point I made earlier about 49% of the attacks um, targeted and directed at West African states. Now, the deputy national security coordinator yesterday gave us a breakdown of why um, Ghana is now a firm target for the terrorists. One of the first things she told us was that the terrorists, they want access to the sea. They want access to our sea ports. Because as you've seen, he traces the, the journey and the, and the trajectory of the terrorist attacks and appears from the Sahel, they've been moving southward. And is the reason why we've seen this recent attack in, in Togo, for example. They're coming southward because the explanation is that they want access to the sea, the, the, the seaport. Why is that? Well, we'll get into that very shortly. Why, why are they targeting the sea? And in Ghana, of course, as we've seen, we have a very vibrant port here that will be very attractive to the, to the terrorists. One of the reasons why the Deputy National Security Coordinator says Ghana is a target. Second reason, they also want access to nat natural resources, and we have enough of that locally. Considering the fact that we have a problem with Galamse, that is illegal mining, uh, in communities and forests across the country where people are selling, uh, mining gold illegally and selling it. And if you look at the, the, the reports that have been, have been done over the years, billions of dollars uh, unaccounted for gold mining Ghana. That is very lucrative and that is attracting 
the terrorists who are targeting Ghana. So these are the two key reasons why excess Ghana is becoming very attractive. We'll put that to my guests to try and explain this a bit more, um, you know, when we sit down. And then yesterday when the information minister uh, spoke, he, he also talks about the fact that they, we now have Ghanaians actively involved in the terrorist attacks in the sub region. Ghanaians who have been already recruited, um, you know, been, been radicalized and are uh, already targeting in other jurisdictions. And then at least two Ghanaian citizens we know, if you track from 2015, have joined ISIS. We know of the 25-year-old uh, university student who contacted his family on August 16, 2015, announcing that he's joined ISIS. That's uh, Mohammed Nazil Norte Alima. Uh, and and a, a, a second person who is unknown. So this is a fact. The Ghanaians are players in, in attacking other jurisdictions. And if you look at the top 10 countries most impacted by terrorism, majority of them can be found again in the sub-region. We see Burkina Faso in there. Um, not majority. A significant number of them. Many of them can be found there. You see Burkina Faso. You see Nigeria. You see Mali, Niger. All in the top 10 countries most impacted. Um, by, by terrorism. It's, just, it's, it's actually very strange to see the fourth country most impacted in the world is Burkina Faso, just our northern neighbor. So that tells you how close this has been to our shores here. And another thing that my, my research team tracked for me that is interesting, if you look at the, the largest number of deaths was recorded in the Middle East and North Africa, right? So that tells the story of 49,000 people killed um, by, by terrorists alone in that area. And then if you look at the thing about this that is interesting for me to note, and you're comparing what happened in Togo to what has happened elsewhere, between, in terms of the victims of the terrorists, it's, it's a very interesting blend between police, military, and infrastructure, and then c civilians, right? What you begin to see in 2019, and this is according to the Global Terrorism Index, what you begin to see from 2019 is that the number of civilians killed as against police, military, and in destruction of infrastructure is on an upward trajectory, right? Almost inching closer to police, military. So what it tells you is that they are increasingly targeting civilians as well. And that's why we're going to be speaking to the spokesperson for the chief imam. They've, they've received the alert themselves and they're taking some precautions because they are places where many people gather. Many civilians gather is a, a soft target for them. And the, the, the graph shows you the tracking there. But overwhelmingly, of course, you see police, military, infrastructure, almost always victims. But now we've seen that increasingly they're also targeting civilians. So we're going to have a conversation with my guests who are seating. This is a very worrying, worrying um, story indeed. But we need to get to the bottom of it. This is the only way we all get alerted, educated, and a bit more informed, so you take the security in your own hands and then you call the police once you see it, as they will say tomorrow, and we are beginning to do this now, if you see something, you must say something. But what is it that you're looking out for?